Welcome back to The Bartzler. It's season two, episode two. I'm your host, I'm your contestant, and I'm your judge of the internet's dogs that I like. On last episode of The Bartzler, we checked out over a hundred, maybe like 500, maybe 6,000, who knows. Tons and tons of dog submissions, and I whittled it down to the top 25. Charles Avocado Van Gogh was the first impression bone, which means he did not have to submit a video today, but the other 24 contestants had to submit a video of their dog walking out of the car to me. Basically, I asked 24 dogs to recreate The Bachelor, and boy, did they. It's The Bachelor! Please, after this video is uploaded, do not send me pictures of your dog <laughs> unless you're in the contest. Cloud in my feed, I want gifts and pictures of me eating fried chicken and that's it. <laughs> They're just dogs. We're gonna start off with, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everything auto plays nowadays. This is from Maddie Harper. Kenny and her curly tail are ready to work. You better work. Ooh, copywritten music, all right. <laughs> The dog is wearing a dress. She's doing a twirl? Kenny, that was good. That was really good, Kenny. You're one of the top 12 and a half. 13, 13, the top 13. From Hannah Rose, it says, Keith, Keith, do you love me? This isn't exactly what I asked for, uh, but it's pretty funny. The Kiki challenge is pretty bad. I saw really no heart. It was just this. So right now, um, Princess, you're a maybe, and that's tough for me, because Princess, you're in Los Angeles, and again, I could meet you someday. We just don't know. We got Nala. Oh, Nala is so precious. Her eyes, oh, that's right. Nala's the dog that I don't like except for her eyes. Wow, Nala's wearing a hot dog costume, and it says, Keith, you are one hot dog. Woo, we're in, Nala, you made it another round. Also, I just gotta say, that has 733 likes. It's got 8,000 views. How many people are paying attention to this competition? This is amazing, this is not a real thing, but thanks for believing it is. Oh, got a picture of Luna who didn't make the cut last round and she's sad and she's got like some s'mores. Didn't think I would have to f face the contestants didn't make it. All right, we got Rigby. Oh, I love Rigby, Rigby was on the roof. Here comes Rigby getting, <laughs> Rigby's getting out of the car. Oh. Oh my. I'm just gonna live in it for a minute. Not a great ending. There's something about Rigby. He's got this neckerchief. I feel like he likes to hike. I might be falling for him. All right, we got Gus. Gus is in a little pajama set, jumping out of the car. And that's it. <laughs> it's an eight second video of Gus jumping out of a car. Uh, not everybody has the same editing skills in this competition, but you know, you gotta commend him for trying. Gus is very pretty, but I didn't get a lot of personality from that tape. And Gus, you can't just ride this competition on looks alone. Dachshund. Who decided how to spell that? It's spelled as dumb as the Barksler is. Okay, so we have a YouTube video. Wow, this is Buster. Loves naps, apples, cuddles, will do anything for a treat. Loves a good card game. I doubt that. Hold on. This dog is playing Texas Hold'em. Wow, this is so cinematic. And the turn flipped an ace. What about the river? What's on the river? This isn't really what I asked for, but it's pretty amazing. The chips are flying in the air. Buster has won the poker tournament. He's 12? Oh my God, he's 84? That's pretty old. Buster is uh, our first senior citizen contestant in this competition. But I gotta say, Buster, that was phenomenal. I, I can't wait to see more content from you, Buster. We all remember Gus. Gus had that weird, narrow face that we all liked. A lot of people on the internet said that Gus looked like me. When it came time for belly rubs, there is only one doggo for the job. Borton, Gus, this is too fast. You gotta make sure the audience has enough time to read the text. Violets are gray, everything is gray. <laughs> dog. I feel like that's enough for Gus to be in. That was really, you know, a lot of thought and effort went into this and what I want most is for these dogs to earn my love. I have to be moved by the performance. Oh wow, this is Coda. Now, I'm gonna let you know that I've seen Coda's before because Coda's is one of the first to come to me and Coda's entry video is something. Oh, it's got beautiful music. Oh, there's a red carpet. Oh, this also has like fades. Wow. Hey Triceratops, I'm Coda. Didn't expect that, did you? Some people refer to me as a snack, but I prefer a full 
course meal. And I sure hope Keith does too. Bone half tea. Bone? Wait. I think that's a bone pun, but it also is like a fucking pun. There is Popeyes in the background of this, but they've changed it by putting some probably orange tape over it to say Popeyes. Coda, your voice is a little terrifying to me, but you're in the competition because I want to see more. We got Otto. Otto is dressed as Santa. AKA Santa Paws. This was fun. It was all one take. She did the required thing. He was wearing an outfit. I liked it. I thought it was sweet and cute. I'm gonna put you as a maybe right now. We'll do a final review. Here's Missoni. Missoni's eight years old. Give her the treat already. She's walking on a bridge. Very romantic. She's walking across the street. This looks like this is about a minute of her walking. I'm not small. I'm just concentrated cuteness. A good bulk of that video was just you walking. You know, I didn't, there weren't, you didn't, I don't. I wanna talk really quick about the power of the internet, real quick. Because Olivia sent a video of Chloe walking down the hall. She said Chloe has bad experiences jumping out of cars, so she's walking down a hallway. She commented, I don't know how to edit videos or anything. Lol, everyone's looks so professional. And Ashley Rose said, yo, hit me up with videos of your dog and I can make an edit for you. A fan of the show helped another contestant compete at their full potential, which I think is really, really great. Here it is. She's an 11 year old Yorkie. Oh, oh. She sadly has epilepsy. Dogs can get epilepsy, but that doesn't stop her from being happy. Okay, there was no joke in this about her for me, but because of the love, Chloe, you're gonna be in. Congratulations, Chloe. Ashley and Olivia need to work together and be a team, so be it. But next time, just, you know, let's get some jokes in there. This is Mackenzie, a sassy princess who loves her beauty sleep. I'm not sure if this is actually someone who was in. The bark slur? No, no, there's not, this is not. You didn't, yeah, I got you. You can't, can't just crash my show. This is a picture of a cat. You did successfully get your dog in the video though, so congratulations. Dozer, I uh, remember Dozer. Dozer's bomb, I love Dozer. Dozer looks like he's 112. Are you excited to be on the bark slur? Yes, I love making new friends. <laughs> he keeps like exiting the frame and then they jump cut it back. I mean, that's as good as most YouTubers, so jump cuts make it work. Congratulations. All right, we got Ruben. Ruben is thrilled to be arriving at the Barkster Mansion. Is this the Up music? Ah, oh, Up is such a good movie. The owner got a sneak picture of themselves into the video. Congratulations, Haley. Oh, hold on. Time out. Everybody stop. The dog is going down some stairs that are like built for the dog to get in and out of the car. That is so funny. This dog can't weigh more than six pounds. Just pick up the dog. <laughs> You bolded the word stare, but you spelt it like stare. For a real pun, you gotta spell it wrong. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a pass. Ruben, you're in. This is Walden. Due to Walden's body type, he can't get out of the car on his own. Uh, he says, you are welcome to this bakery anytime, Keith, to enjoy some of my sweet, sweet rolls. Very funny. However, this is just a picture. I'm making videos here, and I love Walden. Walden is one of my favorite people, so I'm like, it breaks my heart to not have you around, Walden. <sighs> I just didn't think it was gonna go like this. I started making this show because I wanted to find a dog somewhere in America that I could take away from their owners and keep as my own. And I really wanted to take Walden, but at the same time, this is a video contest, and if you can't supply me a video, you can't compete. I'm sorry, you just have to go. This is not an entry in the dog slur, the bark slur. <laughs> wow, though, let me just say, this dog that is trying to crash the competition looks ridiculous. Zoe was abandoned midwinter by our neighbors. And Zoe, this is a high frame rate shot, it's great. She's a country Juliet looking for her redneck Romeo. The exuberance of the owner making the video, just yelling and hooting and hollering, I think it's good. I also love having a, a good Southern energy in the show. Southern people often cause a lot of drama in The Bachelor and in life. <laughs> so Zoe, my bucket queen, you're in The Bachelor. I'm here uh, reviewing the edit for The Bachelor and I realized that I totally just scrolled past Kylo's submission. So I'm gonna watch it right now. There's a doge over my shoulder, so it's only appropriate. I'm gonna mute it, that'll be better. He's two years old from Tennessee. He loves tennis balls. Good catch. 
This is just uh, adorable footage. It's not exactly what I asked for. You need a bark slur? I can show you the ways of the pooch. Oh, he jumped, he, oh, he did jump out of a car. Good enough. You're in the bark slur, Kylo. So we got our 12 plus Charles Avocado Van Gogh. You can't forget a name like that. So next week, I got it. After lots of thinking, I've discovered what I will have you do. It's hometowns, baby, and our top 13 need to take me around their town, make me a video of your dog showing me all the best parts of your town. Show me the dog park. Show me the ice creamery. I kind of need to meet the dog's family too, don't I? I need to meet the mom and dad, the brother and sister. I need to know what is the family dynamic of this dog. So our top 13 dogs, poof, will be sending us Hometown videos letting me know about their family and their hometown, and we'll whittle that down to the top four. Those four will be put onto my personal Instagram account. I need to see, is this dog really able to be a star? Are they able to post every day? Are they able to come up with clever content? Can they really rival Doug the Pug? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. And then I'll be monitoring their Instagrams for the next week to see who's the best star dog of the Barkstler. That's it for this episode of the Barkstler. Tune in next time to see who are the top four out of these 13, and wait till after the break to see a sneak peek of an upcoming season of Barkstler in Paradise. It's mostly me in a Speedo. Very clear that Bean and Eugene uh, have something going on. Are you vlogging? Hey, Eugene. Uh, if you aren't already, go ahead and follow at the underscore Barksler for more Barksler content. I don't run the account, but it's a really funny account that actually does a better job of filling you in on Barksler related content than I do. ears are like uh, around and on the top of the head. It looks like a bear and they did say can't wait to cast my teddy bear for season three but this looks like a genetic mutation. There's no way a dog should look like this. <laughs>